when I founded my first company, the idea was solid. The um, market opportunity, I think, was fairly great. I was fortunate enough to find as a partner someone who had started several companies before and was able to help navigate through the seemingly overwhelming obstacles involved in starting a company. Everything from how do you set up an employee incentive program, stock option plan, to how do you incorporate, how do you register your trademarks. A problem that faces many first-time entrepreneurs is that they don't have that resource. So this is where all the Dream It companies are housed. Essentially, we have one big open space for everybody. We think that there's a lot of learning that the companies can share with one another and um, community that gets fostered by being in the same space. And you know, you'll find that a team has a challenge with a certain technical issue, or they have a challenge, you know, getting a certain customer, and another team might actually have those skills or those connections and so they'll actually be able to share those. Mike Levinson and I had been considering different models for taking companies from an idea through launch, and we'd been talking about it for several years. And um, Mike came to me in June of 2007, having um, learned of a model that where he thought it might work for us, and that's the model that eventually evolved into the Dream It model. As an entrepreneur, you need to be very confident and you need to have this you know, strong sense of self and strong sense of what you're doing and a vision and a real true belief that it's going to happen. Uh, but if you're not going to be open to change or advice or you know, sort of the, uh, you know, the sense that it could actually, you could be off and you may need to change gears or that it may fail directly, you're not going to be successful. And so when we look at the team to see whether or not we think that they're a viable team, it's not just, you know, are they well educated, are they smart, do they have a good idea, but it's also, are they really actually going to function in this environment, are they going to be open to the idea of coaching and mentorship. Dream It takes each company over a three month period during the summer, and regardless of what stage they come into Dream It at, the goal is to have them achieve their next milestone, their next meaningful milestone during that three month period. So we provide the companies with not only the shared office space, but they each actually get their own pod with um, Wi-Fi and we provide cash at the beginning of the program and actually more halfway through the program. Really we consider that a stipend to help them be able to focus on running their company for the summer. Right. So it's not intended to be an investment in the way you know that it values the company. We do require that they be here in Philadelphia so that they can engage with the speaker series and the mentors and the service providers and with the other t companies. We obviously would love to see the companies stay in Philadelphia. That is not a criteria that we use in accepting companies. And Philadelphia is not generally thought of in this day and age, certainly in Ben Franklin's day and age, it was thought of as the hub of innovation and uh, entrepreneurship, but um, not so much now. However, it is completely underestimated outside of Philadelphia the degree to which the ecosystem really does support startups and entrepreneurship here. One of the things that's challenging is we have 14 companies in this program this year and so there's a, you know a lot to keep up with. A lot of companies do going in different directions and making sure that we're getting resources available for all of them. So it's great to be in the third year of the program where we've got a lot of the standard programming already in place and we can focus on getting each company the individual attention it needs at each point in the program. The energy that you receive from just being around people who are so dedicated, working so hard, and who are so damn smart is, is really extremely gratifying. So um, I kind of view my activity in Dream It um, not so much in the, in the context of whether it's going to help me achieve my next level of wealth, I fully expect it will not but rather as the opportunity to try and give other people the same types of opportunities that I spoke about earlier to have them be able to be successful in their own right.